Hi everyone, today I'm going to be talking about corrosion on lead acid batteries. So as you all know I've got my uh, solar uh, setup and I've got a lot of batteries and one in particular has a post which is heavily corroded. So in this video I'm going to be talking about um, corrosion, its causes, what exactly this is and um, of course how to clean it. So to start with, uh, let's talk about it and find out exactly what it is. Right, so what's happening here? So inside your battery, there's a lot of liquid. And this is sulfuric acid uh, mixed with water, which is still sulfuric acid, really. So you've got sulfuric acid mixed in here. And um, what happens is the water evaporates and, uh, and it leaves a concentrated amount of sulfuric acid. And then you have these things here to top up with water. And then, of course, the volume goes back in between these lines, ideally. So we've got a lot of liquid in here. And, yeah, the liquid, uh, or the electrolyte, as it's also called, uh, which is sulfuric acid, it's extremely corrosive. And um, I actually did an experiment with it once. I, I wanted to... Um, do a test on some weeds and it wasn't uh, growing land or anything like that and it was only a very small amount of land but I wanted to see if it was an effective weed killer and it was um, but when I come to decant the chemical and put it into a sprayable container it actually burnt through the container it burnt through a hole in the container and it actually melted the plastic container so yeah uh, it's extremely corrosive Incidentally, it's that corrosive that in the UK, um, new laws have just been passed, maybe a month ago or so, about its use. Um, I'll just quickly read you a bit of an article. Yeah, it says here, Carrying corrosive fluid with intent to cause injury carries a four-year prison sentence, rising to a life sentence if grievous bodily harm is caused. And those who carry out an attack without actually causing an injury can still be sentenced to life too if it's shown that they acted with intent to maim, disfigure or disable. But anyway, I'm going off, off track slightly. But um, yeah, it's extremely corrosive. And yeah, what happens is that, as mad as it seems, uh, this electrolyte also corrodes lead. And basically what happens is that electrolyte or this chemical um, can come out of here and there are little seals and things here and sometimes in other batteries these are lower down and liquid can come out of those and come out of the seals here and get onto the uh, this area here this little um, pillar I can't remember exactly what it's called but when the electrolyte goes onto here then we start getting problems so I suppose the question to ask now is how can the electrolyte get out of here and start pouring onto this and all over this battery? How can that happen? Well, when you start charging a lead acid battery, what happens is that it starts venting or it can start bubbling off gently. And um, when this happens, it can warm up. And as it warms up, um, it can start to evaporate more and also when it warms up the volume of liquid um, increases which is why they have this max line here because they know that when it warms up and is charging the liquid increases slightly and it could potentially overflow if it got hot enough now if you overcharge it it will get even hotter and there will be even more volume and it can um, you know seep out of the battery so that's how the electrolyte can get out of here and of course when it does get out of here it could pool around here or around here and it could seep all over the place and then start getting in contact with these um, with these terminals and that would be okay for some time but if it's left um, it will start to corrode the terminals here and what it would make is a substance called lead sulfate Anyway, in my case, I suppose there was a little bit of lead sulfate, but there was also an additional problem. On mine, I've got brass or copper um, 
connectors, terminal connectors, on top of these little pillars here, or these little terminals. And um, it's not lead, lead sulfate that's on my connectors. Because my connectors are a brass or a copper, um, I've actually got sulfuric acid over those and corroding those. And I've actually got a lot of copper sulfate on mine. Anyway, um, generally speaking, that's what it is, and that's how it happens. There are um, one or two ways to prevent it too. Uh, well, maybe not prevent it, but uh, reduce its effectiveness maybe. Um, and the easy way to do that, well, the simplest way to do that is simply don't overcharge your batteries. Well, it's easier said than done because with these batteries, sometimes you do have to boost them and you do have to equalize them. So it's inevitable that, you know, if you can have any reasonable uh, battery bank, you probably are going to overcharge them at some point. But anyway, try to keep it at a minimum. The second thing is to just simply keep the batteries dry. So if you notice that liquid is seeping out of these here or seeping out of here, then the best thing to do is to wipe it off and keep it dry. And the third point is looking at um, some different websites and stuff and also looking at uh, one or two cars that I've had in the past and stuff. I've noticed that there's sort of a jelly like substance on the top of these. And I remember thinking to myself, what is that substance? But anyway, it's petroleum jelly or grease. And sometimes they put grease on them um, to prevent you know, the electrolyte from actually touching the, the post here. And um, that is another way of, um, of preventing it. So, um, I think I'll go on to cleaning them now. And um, to clean them, what I'm going to be doing is using some baking soda um, mixed with a bit of water, and I'm going to use a toothbrush. Anyway, before I do that, I thought I'd just show you this website here. It's called benignblog.com and, um, and this guy's done a very nice article here with some um, slightly more in-depth information. So if you're interested, uh, take a look. Anyway, I think I'll start cleaning now. Okay, so there's the terminal post. It's a bit of a mess, um, but it's time to clean it off now anyway. So what I have is I have um, a tea jar thing. Let me just zoom out. I have this uh, is it tea or coffee or something? It's an old thing or coffee. Um, and I've got some plain water in it, and also I've got some baking soda. Um, yeah, this used to be a kitchen uh, thing, but I commandeered it, and it's now for solar. And uh, yeah, this is baking soda. Anyway, so I'll open this up and just tip some in with the water that should do so now I've got water with baking soda and uh, I need to let that mix really anyway if I just zoom back in here so you can see the post right I also have a toothbrush an old toothbrush and I've also got a wire brush Okay, so really, um, I should disconnect this, but I'm not worried, um, because I don't expect that I'll be shorting anything, because I'm just going to be very careful um, where I touch with a wire brush in particular. Anyway, so I'll start now. I think I'll start by just scratching off um, some of this corrosion to start with. As you can see, I'm wearing gloves. Uh, that's because I don't particularly want any of this on me because it can be quite nasty. Right, so I'll just brush some of this rubbish away now. Just down the side, that will do.
Right, and now I think I'll uh, give it a quick brush with this um, bicarbonate of soda and water. And I think I'll switch back over to the metal one. I'll switch back over to the plastic one. And I think I'll give this a quick clean. And now I think it's time to wipe this off and let's see what it looks like. And there we go. Um, I'll take these gloves off and then I'll zoom in and I'll see if I can show you any more detail. This place absolutely stinks now of this uh, sulfuric acid. Mm. It's not perfect, but it does look a lot better. And I think that will do. The other ones are a lot better. Anyway, I hope this video has helped you and thanks for watching. Bye!